Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with my Harlequin Digital Book Haul. This is for August of 2021. So I made a decision at the beginning of August that I wasn't going to, I was not putting myself in a book buying ban, but I really wanted to focus more on the books I already own, um, along with really supporting my library and going there if I needed anything. Like the one thing I was starting to realize, it's like, okay, I can buy this or I can just go and borrow it from my library and support them. Like, yes, I want to support the author, but I also want to, do you know what I mean? Like we're under a lot of pressure as readers, essentially. So the one caveat I gave myself is that I was allowing myself to still buy Harlequin books. Um, on their website ebooks, which is what I'm what I'm going to talk about here because as I just said digital um, So ebooks on their website that I read via the glow sap on my Kindle Fire um, So yeah, so like I have a lot of books on here I have a lot so you know just just to show you guys like these are all ebooks and it's a great little app to use I really like it and the other thing is it's not just the app that I enjoy using like I enjoy reading off of this every now and then however my preference is always going to be anything with an e-ink display my Kobo and my Kindle you know my my Kindle Oasis and my Kobo um what's the new one the um the Forma the Kindle Forma I love them I absolutely do and a part of me really wishes that Harlequin would have it so you can transfer the ebooks that you're buying from their website to any the device of your choice, essentially. But that's not the case, and that's fine. Uh, in order to do that, I have a feeling they'd probably have to raise the prices of the ebooks and stuff, and they're very affordable. And the other thing is, is that like every single Friday they have sales, and at random times in the month, just as like a they had one, what was it back in August? Something a summer dog days of summer sale, and it was like spend ten dollars get or spend twenty dollars get ten dollars off or something i don't remember but they had a bunch of sales so your girl bought some books so like i said it's my only caveat because they're sales because i get harlequin rewards points for buying the books and i love these books so much so i'm slowly increasing my digital harlequin library along with my physical harlequin library so um yeah let's jump into the 24 books that i bought in the month of august so all of these I got on sale. Didn't pay full price for any of them. <laughs> so the first one we have is Secrets of a One Night Stand by Naima Simone. This is book two in the Billionaires of Boston series. It has a September 2021 release date. The other cool thing is most of these books, so all of these books, unless I mentioned it, are published in September of 2021. So on the Harlequin website, you can buy ebooks and print books a month ahead of the scheduled release date. So for example, on the 1st of September, which was yesterday, because I think this book is going up on the 2nd of September. So as of yesterday, if you go on the Harlequin website, you can see all the books with an October release date and you can purchase those books as well. So do check that out. So that's why I have September books that I bought in August. So the next one we have is Temptation Undercover by Jennifer Morey. This is book number eight in the Colton 911 Chicago series. I'm really loving this mini series. It's fantastic. This is a, um, oh, let me see how good I am. This is a romantic suspense novel. I can kind of see the covers in my head. Um, then we have Hawaiian Medic to the Rescue, to Rescue His Heart by Annie O'Neill. This is a medical romance. Clearly, I love these ones. Um, I'm going to run through these relatively quickly, mainly because there's so many of them and mainly because I honestly don't know a lot about them. I just picked them up because if it were up to me, I would literally get every single book that Harlequin puts out in their category romance lines every month. I would. I would legitimately buy every single book. But financially, I can't afford to do that, so I kind of pick and choose. Um, but I will leave lists to all of these books in the description box below. The next one we have is A Mother's Strength by Ali uh, Pletier, and this is book number six in the Matrimony Valley series. This is a new mini-series, so I got Widow's Secrets by Shelley Shepard Gray. This actually has an August publication date, and Love Inspired Suspense is putting this new mini-series out, which are called Cold Case. So these are all cold case books, and I'm very excited about the series. This one looks really good. Then I got a Christmas book. Now, full disclosure, the author sent me a physical copy of this book, so I was very excited. 
However, I want to support the author, so I also picked up a copy for myself digitally, and that is Missing at Christmas by Katie Richards. I am uber excited about reading this book. I cannot wait. This is book two in the West Investigation series. Did have a September release date. Yay! Another one that the author sent me a digital ERC copy of um, to read and review. I haven't quite gotten to it yet, sorry, is Best Laid Wedding Plans by Karen Booth. This is book two in the Moonlit Ridge series. Again, I wanted to support the author because they were kind enough to gift a book out to me, so I wanted to pay it forward, essentially, and I bought a copy for myself. Um, so now I've got two, which is fine. Um, the next one is, this one looks so good. So Brie and I, on the Categorically Romance podcast, heard about this book months ago when we were fortunate enough to talk to the editor for the historical line. And she talked about this book and both Brie and I were like eagerly writing the name of the, the book down. And when I knew it was being released in September, it was one of the first ones that I picked up. And it's called A Blues Singer to Redeem Him by L. Jackson. This is a, I believe it's Jazz Age. Clearly, I think it's Jazz Age, I think. So yeah, I am very excited about this one. The cover is gorgeous and this one sounds so, so good. Um, next up we have Falling for the Lawman by Claire McEwen. This is book number six in the Heroes of Silver Creek, uh, Silver Creek series. This is a Harlequin heartwarming novel. I have read another book in this series and I really, really liked it. So I needed to pick up another one. I love the title and the premise of this one. So this is a special edition novel and it is The Late Bloomer's Road to Love by Marie Farinella. I'm a big fan of Marie Farinella. I've been reading her for years and years and years. This is book 25 in the Matchmaking Mama series, not a series you need to read in any kind of order. Jump around as much as you want. But I believe the main premise of this one is um, our heroine is a bit older and I kind of love that idea and I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, next up, gorgeous cover on this one, How to Catch a Bad Boy by Cat Shield. This is book number seven in the Texas Cattlemen's Club Heir Apparent series. So this is a desire novel. I love these desire novels. They are just so much fun. Um, then we have uh, Colton Canine Target by Justine Davis. This is book number eight in the Coltons of Grave Gulch series. Um, yeah, and this one just looks delightful. I have read other books in this series and I really like it, and I'm looking forward to this one. And then we have um, The Sicilian's Forgotten Wife by the great Caitlin Cruz. This is a Harlequin Presents novel, excuse me. And yeah, I love these ones as well. These are fantastic, yay, cannot wait to read it. Um, next we have Second Chance to Wear His Ring by Hannah Sheck, I believe is how you say her name. And this is a Harlequin romance novel, and it just sounds really, really good. Now, if you guys, I'm going to try and put both covers up here. The Mills and Boone cover for this book is all the things. And I am seriously debating on ordering a Mills and Boone edition of this just to have it on my shelf because it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the North American cover is fantastic as well, but that... UK cover is all the things and I really really want it. Um, Brie sent me a message. She's like, have you seen this cover? <laughs> I'm like, oh my stars, I must have it. Um, next up we have a, I believe this is an intrigue novel, Dead in the Water by the great Janice K. Johnson. I'm a big big fan of her work. Looking forward to this one a lot. Um, then we have The Rancher's Unexpected Twins by Trish Milburn. This is another heartwarming novel book one in the Jade Valley Wyoming series. Then we have a, I believe that this one is a love inspired suspense novel, Deadly Cargo by Jody Bailey. Yes, Jody Bailey writes for the love inspired suspense line. I love these books so much. Sounds really good. Another historical novel, we have A Scandal at Midnight by Annie Burroughs. Uh, side note for those of you who have not watched my September TBR, I'm reading this one in September and I can't wait. Then we have Beauty in the Billionaire's Bed by Louise Fuller. This is also a September 2021 release and very much looking forward to this one. Uh, Caribbean Nights with the Tycoon by Andrea Bolter. This is a uh, Harlequin romance novel and it's book three in the Billion Dollar Matches series. I have read book one, I have book two, and now I need to, now I have book three and I need to get to the other two, to two and three. 
Um, just a few more here. A Medical Romance, Second Chance with Her Guarded GP by Kate Hardy. Uh, this is book number one in the Twin Docs Perfect Match series. Then we have First Responder on Deadly Ground by Colleen Thompson. This is a romantic suspense. Looks really good. I, clearly, I think it's military of some kind. And last but not least, the last two books were not published in September of 2021. These were actually published quite some time ago. I just kind of had a little bit of a search on Harlequin, and I used some of my rewards points that I have, and I got two free books. So the first one is Winner Takes All by Cheryl Harper. This is book number one in the Lucky uh, Numbers series, and it originally came out in June of 2015. Uh, Brie and I were fortunate enough to just talk to Cheryl Harper on the podcast, and she talked about this book. And it's a the series is about a group of friends who win the lottery. And in this one, um, the main character goes after some guy that she fell for who's now living in Peru. I'm like, yes, that sounds fantastic. So right after we finished talking to her on the podcast, I immediately went and ordered this one. And the other one, I just happened to look up and this one looked really good. It, I feel like it's got a very autumn cover. This is In a Killer's Sights by Sandra, uh, Sandra Robbins. And it is book number one in the Smoky Mountain Secret series. Publication date, July 2016. This is a love-inspired suspense novel. So that's it, you guys. Very quick video. I know I ran through these really, really quickly and I am sorry but I don't know a lot about all of them, but at least you guys can see what is coming out in September. So you guys can be on the lookout for your bookshelves, like for your, your local bookstores, your Barnes and Nobles, your big box stores, the grocery store, whatever, or go ahead and order them right from the Harlequin website and get your points for them. And yeah, again, I will leave them all listed in the description box below. And that's all that I have for today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And until my next one, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.